hello guys welcome back to my channel plan 3d tutorial and uh, it's been a long time since i have uploaded any video in my channel as i was busy in some work and now in this video we'll be learning about a very important command of plan 3d that is xref so to know a complete detail about xrefing any objects in plan 3d stay tuned and watch this entire video so let us begin so as you can see in the screen uh, if you have watched my previous video this week this is the entire uh, plant or uh, a small tutorial which we are doing uh, from starting from structural modeling, equipment modeling and piping modeling. So if you haven't watched our previous video then it's better you'll watch that video and you can come back to this video so that you have a complete understanding about uh, what's happening in the video. Before starting with the next step I'll just uh, tell you one thing. See, as you can see here I have equipment, I have piping and I have structure in this, uh, uh, in this file. What I have done is I have created three separate files. One is separately for equipment as you can see the equipment i mean the vessel and the pump is here uh, same uh, it's the same vessel which i have uh, done in my previous video and the next uh, structure the same structure i have copied and next is this piping file uh, which is empty and uh, in this file i will be extracting this equipment and structure and i'll be routing a pipe uh, piping i won't be explaining uh, uh, come in complete detail as i have already covered that topic in my previous video and if you haven't watched you can watch that as well so i'll just be routing a simple pipe uh, just to show how this xref command works uh, so i hope you understood the concept of how i'm going to explain you about the xref okay so let us begin now so now to begin with the procedure is very simple that is as we are learning about xrefing objects we have to use the command xref the meaning of xref is just like uh, using any object for reference so i have given the xref command and you can see that uh, this block has popped out okay so this is all what we want for xrefing an object so before using this command let me tell you why we are using this xref command so for example you are working for a company and there are different teams one is for the equipment layout one is for the structure and one is for the piping so different teams will be working on the on their respective fields this structural team will be working on the structure and this equipment team will be working on the equipment and the equipment layout and the piping team will be working on the piping so now to do piping i cannot go to the same structural file on which the structural people has worked or the equipment file where the equipment team has worked and open that file and work for piping what i'll do is i'll take those equipment layout structure everything as a reference in my piping file and use that as a reference to make you understand in a more better way let me just uh, use it i mean let me just uh, implement what I have just said now when you use the xref command this block pops out and here you can see that you have some options one is like attach image drawing attach point cloud and everything here here it is just a refresh option all you will be dealing with is only this this first option okay this first option for now as we are xrefing file format of dwg that is autocad files we are xrefing in the same manner you can xref different types of files as you can see here so now we'll be learning about dwg file so now i'll click on attach dwg file so next i have to go to the location of the file which you want to xref as in this case i want to xref the structure first so i have placed the structure in this folder here you can see that I have given the name xref structure. The name can be anything. I have just given this so that you understand. So I'll click on xref structure and click open. And next we have some functions here. Now first starting from the top here we have the scale. Scale as you can understand by the name is the scale of the object which you are inserting. If you want the object in one is to one scale just uncheck it and put uh, it has to be one 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 here xyz coordinates should be 1 it is default it is taken as 1 but if you want to increase the scale in x direction y direction something predefined values you can enter here or also if you want to define the scale while ins after inserting you can check this box so now i want the scale to be 1 is to 1 i'll just uncheck this and keep this 3 as 1 if you check on the uniform scale you just need to enter one value here and the same value will be taken for other th other two as well so next we have this insertion point insertion point is nothing but the location or in the x y z coordinate where you want to place your xref object same as the scale we have this specify on screen option in insertion point as well 
if you check this box uh, you you can place the xref object while you are inserting on the screen but if you know some predefined values where you want to place the xref object then you can put the values here or if you want to place the object the zero origin you can just put zero here okay next we have this here attach and overlay option uh, i'll explain you this attach and overlay option in in some time but uh, just remember that now we are just attaching the item not overlaying we are attaching the item now this path type you need not worry you do not need to change anything here you can just ignore this part as it is not much important for you and next rotation as the name uh, it's in, it enables you to rotate the xref object by any predefined degree or if you can want to rotate after insertion you can check this box okay this is the unit so this also you do not change this units uh, should be same as the project units what you give while creation of the project okay so this was all about this table just remember that we have used the attach option here and uh, my xref will go on the uh, zero coordinate with scale of one i will just click on ok see my xref is here as you can see if i click on this xref the entire object is being selected and but in this case if i select anywhere uh, individual items can be selected but since this is an xref file i cannot edit anything here it is just a reference so next in the same manner i'll xref the equipment so now for xrefing also i'll use a command that is xa x attach that is if i click on the same table where i have to select the file will open i can either you can use the xa command or you can go here i mean you can go here and select attach drawing okay both are same so now i have to xref the equipments okay uh, these are my xref equipments i'll open them open them and same i won't change anything here i want my objects to be at the same location where they are in the original file i'll click on okay you can see i have xref this equipment if i select one equipment both are getting selected because we have two equipments here in the same file okay so i have xref uh, this file to my xref piping drawing before this uh, i had to tell you something okay. i go to attach I wanted to actually overlay the equipment file uh, which I missed so to overlay or attach one way is that you select while inserting the file itself that you want to overlay or attach okay the other way is I'll just cancel this see this is my overlay so when I click this this uh, this xref equipment file name is getting highlighted in this xref bar okay so here if I just scroll to the right you can see the type that is attach attach that is it the it, it is telling that uh, this xref is attached in this file so if i want the file to be overlaid i can just double click on this attach now you can see it has been overlaid so now what i have done is i have attached this structure and next i have overlaid this equipment so you will understand the difference between attach and overlay uh, in my further explanation so now just remember that this structure has been attached and this equipments are have been overlaid so now this is uh, this was just about how to xref an object in plan 3d so now you will understand some important things about this xref function okay i'll just keep this one minute i'll just close this tool palette and keep this here okay so now here if you see my original equipment file and this xref file has been located at the same origin that is this equipment if you see is at the zero origin here in this xref file and here also it is in the zero origin so position of this equipment in the plane in its original file and in the xref file is the same so what is the importance of this see here you can see now when i go to this pump it is showing me the nozzle number the size everything okay same here same case is here in this uh, equipment file but what happens if i move this equipment to a diff different uh, position in my xref file when compared to this original file i'll just move and show you you can move the xref object by just using the move command okay i'll just move it some randomly here now when i go close to this nozzle it is not showing me any any reference like uh, any size of the nozzle or anything you can see because it has lost its uh, intelligent that is the link between this xref 
and the original file has been lost why since it has been moved from its original position original position is this what you have in your original file okay so now when i undo this and bring back to its original position see now when i go back again and see here you can see that in the nozzle number everything has been displayed see the importance of this is when you're routing a line like when i wrote this i select the node okay and it it's uh, it's successfully getting routed i'll just connect it to this uh, tank nozzle okay i'll just accept it it has been successfully routed with all these gaskets and uh, rest of the thing here also you have this uh, uh, good connection without any leak so now if what what happens if i move this and route see if i move here and try to route it see i am not getting any flange or a good connection here here you can see we have a leak also because it doesn't understand where it is getting connected automatically okay so this is the importance of having the objects of the xref and the original file at the same location see here we have the gasket i hope you understood the importance of uh, locating the xref objects in your file that is uh, if you want to get a successful connection you always need to have the equipments at the same location which they are present in their original file so next we'll be we'll be learning about what is the difference between uh, overlay and attach for that i need to create an orthographic drawing so i'll just create it uh, and in my previous videos i have uh, explained you everything about uh, orthographic drawings as well so if you haven't watched those videos then you can watch them as well to have a very good understanding about plan 3d name it as uh, extra ortho so our fi ortho file has been created so what i'll do now is i'll create an orthographic view of this of this uh, layout uh, xref layout which we have created just now so i'll go on new ortho and select that file I think i have placed it in the piping folder yes okay xref piping and okay see i have selected this orthographic file where i have my equipment structure and piping here you can see that only the structure and the pipe which we have routed is this being displayed the what the reason is because we have attached this uh, structure but for the equipments we had overlaid so what the difference between attach and overlay is when you attach an xref item the xref item will be displayed in your 2d drawings as well but if you just overlay an xref item into 3d file that overlaid item won't be displayed in your 2d file this is that is this orthographic file see for example i'll just create this orthographic view of this the top view of this and click on okay and so here you can see that my view has been generated see here you can see the structure in my 2d the piping but the equipments are not visible because as i said before because it is overlaid so now let us uh, so now let us just uh, attach this equipment so to attach this i'll click here this has been the name has been highlighted in my xref box i'll just double click double click this type okay now the equipment also has been attached okay i'll go back to my ortho drawing now i'll just update this view okay i'm not generating the view again i'm just updating the same view so just update and click on that viewport okay as you can see our drawing has been generated uh, you can see the equipment being displayed here uh, this pump actually is not being displayed because we have a plate here we had to change one settings so let us change it now the setting is uh, hidden line piping i have to give it as all hidden lines to get more detail about this uh, this commands you can you can see my separate orthographic generation drawing video okay so i'll just click on okay now so now as you can see our drawing has been generated in this view now you can see that the pump the vessel and the piping all three has been displayed because we have attached both the 
structure and the equipment so i hope you understood the difference between the attach and overlay so now let's get back here um, so now uh, we have this last option which i want to explain about the xrefing objects that is see this is structure so what if i don't want this uh, reference uh, now what i can do is either you can just delete it but that is not the correct way to remove the reference you can go click here and then right click and you can see that option unload reload detach and also we have this xref type either you can just uh, double click as i shown you before or you can change here also the xref type attach and overlay okay here we have unload and reload see if i click on unload the xref will go and again if i reload my xref will come to the same point where i have attached it previously and there is one more option like detach here if i click on detach you can see that the file has been removed like entirely from this xref bar itself so if you want that file again you have to follow the same procedure and attach it again okay and just undo so this is what uh, this is how you can detach attach unload or reload a file and next uh, again if you want to open this xref item like the original file of this xref item you can just right click here and open click on open it will go to that original xref file okay here you can if you want you can just edit anything like if i want this beam here or something i'll just i'll show you like if i want to edit it uh, if i want to edit the structure in this way i'll just save it here then again when i go back to the file here bottom you can see that a message is popping out that the reload xref structure has been changed by me that is the person who has changed uh, the name has been written here here also you can see that compare changes option is there okay so now i'll just click here reload it is showing me that in the green it is showing me what the changes has been done see i had extended these two beams so it is showing me that these two beams had been ext uh, extended and here if i click on click on this bulb it will remove the highlighted option highlighted and this clouds okay if i want to highlight the changes i can click on this bulb if you are accepting these changes just click on the tick mark and the xref has been updated okay so again i'll just undo this changes i don't want to change anything in my structure and again okay you make sure that after doing any changes you have to sh save the file then only you will get this message here but sometimes if you don't get this message just go here right click on this you can see that this manage xref right click on manage xref and just reload so it will be reloaded and you can save it and also one more way of opening the xref is clicking on the xref and right click and you can open the xref here you can see we have reached to the original file so this was all about xref in object in plan 3d so this is the only one way which for which i am using the xref depending upon the project and your work where you are doing you can use this command for your reference and i have just shown this one important function of the xref uh, which normally all the companies use so in the same manner you can attach images dwf file dgn pdfs and point cloud and other things i won't be explaining all the things it is the same the procedure will remain the same but the application is different depending upon the project so guys i hope you like this video and understood about xrefing objects in plan 3d and still if you have any doubt you can comment in the comment section and please click on the like button subscribe to my channel share my channel share my videos with your friends your colleagues who are looking for some plan 3 tutorial and support me and i'll catch you up in the next video till then take care and goodbye